What's going on, gang? It's Darrell Hoshing from Darrell Hoshing Photography, and I've got a nice little video I want to show you guys. I was just in Mexico last week shooting a wedding, and I got a cool shot, and I want to just explain to you guys how I got this shot. So this shot here, you know, I got the uh, the bridesmaids laughing and joking. They got champagne, and they're just having a whole lot of fun. Now, the story behind this shot was uh, the girls wanted the shot on the balcony where in the background you had like the palm trees, you had the blue sky, you had the pool and all that stuff. So they wanted the shot in on the balcony to get that in the background. Now, I knew that shooting natural light, it was going to be difficult to achieve that because under the balcony, it's kind of dark and then the background is very bright. So I can either expose for the subjects, but if I expose for the subjects, the background's going to be blown out. Um, as you can see here with this shot with the bride solo, the background is just totally blown out. She's lit perfectly. The background is just totally unusable. So I went the other route and I exposed for the background. I got all the nice detail, the color in the background, but now the bride is too dark. The subject's too dark. So now you're probably thinking, okay, well, why don't you just put the two together, Photoshop them two together. And I could do that, but that's just too much work. And I was going to be taking multiple shots. So, uh, you know, we had the bride solo. We had the girls there. We had the bride's mom helping her and stuff like that. So I was going to be taking a lot of shots. That's going to be a lot of work. So what I did was I had my flash with me. I had my AD200, my Godox AD200. And I did not have time to set up a soft box and do all that stuff. Um, I did see the roof was, or the ceiling of the balcony was white. So... I set my um, I set my flash up on a flat. Yeah, I set my flash up on a flash. The heck is wrong with me? I set my flash up on the light stand, and I just bounced it to the ceiling. I don't remember what my flash power was, but um, my settings for this shot were uh, so I was using the Sony A7 III. I was using the 28 millimeter f/2 lens. I was at f/2. 8,000th eh, 8, of a second at ISO 320. I did that and I bounced my flash off the ceiling. I don't remember what my flash settings were. I apologize for that. But when I bounced the flash off the ceiling, I got this shot and it was just, it just looked fake. It looked like it was a painted backdrop or it was just superimposed or photo, whatever. It did not look real, but it was real. So I was able to get multiple shots with that exact same lighting, same background. It looked really cool. It wowed my clients when I showed them. They were just like, whoa, this looks Photoshop. This doesn't even look real. You're the best photographer, blah, 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 all that stuff. And that's how you wow your clients um, by doing stuff like this with off camera flash. You wouldn't be able to get this natural light. Uh, it doesn't matter how much dynamic range your camera has you're not gonna be able to get this quality uh, without off-camera flash. Um, so that's a cool tip. You can either bounce it or you can, if you have a soft box, you can use it uh, to the side or whatever in front. You can use a soft box as well. You can use bare, flash, either, either way is gonna work. I wanted the soft look. There was multiple girls, so I wanted an even spread. So the ceiling was a perfect diffuser. It spread the light evenly. Each girl was lit evenly. Um, so, uh, so try that out. Let me know how it works for you guys. Um, but this definitely, it, it sets you apart from everyone else because you know how bridesmaids get, you know, they're going to want to take pictures with their cell phone and stuff like that, but they're not going to get that quality. They're not going to get that photo. And once they see that, you know, they're going to try and get it. And they're like, Hey, why, why doesn't my photo look like that? And they look at yours and it's just like crazy. That's what's going to set you apart from everybody else that's gonna that's gonna make them think this is why they hired the professional because you get results like that so i hope you guys enjoy this video it's short and quick but it's just something i want to share with you guys because i thought it was pretty cool and um the, the clients loved it you know the girls loved it it was crazy um i hope you guys like it um drop some comments let me know what you think uh try it out let me know your results. Let me know how it worked for you. Let me know how your clients reacted to your photos. 
And um, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like, share, all that stuff. And um, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.